Hello there. So, hello there. <clears throat> so this uh, <clears throat> live will be will be in English uh, due to the fact that um, I have uh, international customers and I want to talk about this uh, product. I uh, gladly promote. Uh, please see in my profile above what it is about this LKV booster. I will also um, do some lives in Italian, in German and uh, probably also in French. Uh, Romanian I already did it and uh, you can find it in my, my um, Facebook account down below. So why do I do this live? First of all I have nothing to do, I'm trapped in the house um, and um, yeah, I try to um, explain a little bit about some misconceptions about this product to explain what it is about and to maybe to gain some trust um, in a, such a product for those ones who are skept very skeptical about uh, this product and um, that uh, people that don't think that it really works. It's uh, normally that uh, some people don't trust in these products because there are a lot of products on the market and um, it is somehow understandable that there are a lot of products like this, they don't, they, they promise a lot but they don't do anything in fact. And uh, this is an exception and I will try to talk to you about it and to explain you how it works and maybe like, like this you will change your opinion. So let's see if I'm going to do that. So um, I apologize at the beginning for the, um, for the errors, for the, for the grammatic errors or the, uh, um, because I don't, uh, I'm not a native in English. As you might notice, but um, I will try my best, and um, so bear with me. And yeah, thanks you in advance for uh, understanding. So what it is, um, LKV booster? It is something that you just put it into the tank, and um, it increases uh, the performance of your engine significantly. Yeah? I will tell you now briefly what it is and. Um, um, then we will go into the details uh, for, for uh, each thing. So it redu reduces the fuel consumption, so it improves the, the gas mileage. Yeah? Uh, eliminates the um, calamine or the soot, how is it called in English, that the soot deposits in the combustion chamber. It protects the catalyst through reduced emissions, the catalyst or the converter through the reduced emissions of the gases also reduces the um, engine noise by half and especially by the diesel engines the diesel engines you know they have this cluck 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 so this engine noise will be reduced quite at a half slightly increases the engine power so this is a so called healthy tuning of course you, if you want to uh, tune your engine you can go to a professional tuner and this professional tuner will tune your engine, but with the tuning you never know when the um, engine will go broke or when it's going to be damaged in the, f in the future. So it's what the tuning is positive and negative. But with this one, it just increases a little bit the uh, engine performance, but in some limits that will not ever damage your, um, your engine. It's very important. Uh, this LKV booster works in all combustion engines. Uh, let it be gasoline or the, or the benzene engines, diesel engines, uh, ethanol or uh, also gas, I saw some cases. And it works with engines from, from the saw engine, the one that cuts the grass, the small one, uh, up to the truck engine or I know I also heard it in crew vessels and boats were, was, was being used. So I understand if you, um, at first you don't uh, think that this product does all that that I was just said, because unfortunately the vast majority of the products on the market promise a lot of things, but they don't do shit, they don't do nothing. So this is an exception though, and I uh, fully trust in its efficiency. And it's been, I guess, 15 or 16 years that I have been uh, testing it in, uh, in a, successfully in a lot of cars and trucks and um, also different uh, engine types. Otherwise, uh, believe me, I would not recommend it. Uh, please trust me on this for now. 
So LKV booster, um, this one is not a common additive. Why it is not a common additive? Of course it is an additive because you put it in the, in the, in the, in the um, a tank, so you add something to the tank. So from this point of view you can say it is an additive. But it's not a normal additive because um, this one is a combustion catalyst. So uh, it does its, uh, its, its um, a job in the combustion chamber. All other additives, almost all other additives on the market, they are also so-called uh, chemical uh, um, agents, chemical cleaning agents or detergents. They just, they just uh, um, uh, try to, um, to, to uh, make your, um, your diesel um, um, uh, pipes, they will try to, to make them clean and that is about it. So they will not have anything to do with the combustion chamber. This one is a combustion chamber catalyst. So it goes into the combustion chamber and makes that the burn, the, the, the fuel will burn with a more efficiency than normal. So this is in fact the, the whole secret behind this technology. It improves the efficiency of the burning of the fuel in the combustion chamber. So uh, who makes it? It is a USA product, uh, produce, produced by a big, uh, quite serious and trustable company with over 20 years in the field, doing uh, some stuff for engines and uh, gear conditioning products. The product was created in 2005. I'm using it since 2006, so 15, 15 16 years ago. And it was tested in tens of millions of kilometers in uh, satisfied users' cars. The technology is not new. It is based on the um, organometallic chemistry of the cobalt chain and ferro chain complex. So this is a little bit um, too high for you, but this is uh, not important now. I just told you the, the scientific uh, um, um, uh, name of it. And this technology, it was invented in the 70s. Someone, I guess, uh, got also a um, Nobel Prize for this in the 74, I guess. It was, it was a, a guy called Wilkinson, like the like Wilkinson Razor. Yeah. So he invented this technology. And it was, uh, during the year, uh, later uh, uh, brought to the, to the perfection of this, like, like it is now. Um, it was used by NASA in the rocket fuel for, for, for being able to the, the rocket to be uh, lighter and to fly more with the same quantity of um, same amount of fuel. And also the US Army uh, used it in their trucks and hammers. But this is not important now, uh, now to know important is uh, to understand the technology behind and how it really, really works. Because if you understand that, um, then you can change your mind and you can uh, start trusting uh, that this product, it's, it, it really works. You just have to know about the technology behind. So how does uh, this uh, product um, work anyway? Let's go a little bit um, into the details. Um, so like I said, it is placed in the tank and um, it is uh, measured or dosed according to the quantity of the fuel supplied. And here you have a small recipient. You just open this tap, you press here, the product will go into this small tube here inside. Then you just put it into the tank, you close the tap, you put the fuel into the car and then you drive further. So it takes maybe 30 seconds more than normally you always put the fuel in the car. So it's not that big deal. Um, uh, this, this compound uses the fuel, gas or diesel or ethanol, as a carrier to deliver into the engine combustion chamber where actually does it does its, its work. Yeah? The ingredients of this booster are used to treat the combustion chamber metal surfaces. So uh, it creates a thin film layer. It is formed on all the surfaces in the combustion chamber. It means on the fire deck, on the injector, and on the piston head. So it is a thin layer that it forms during the usage. So once this film and um, um, this, this microfilm or this, this uh, uh, layer, it is uh, formed, it is deposited, which takes about uh, three to four full tanks, then it provides um, several benefits. 
uh, one benefit, it improves the heat management in the combustion chamber. So it changes the uh, surface heat absorption uh, characteristics of the metal. So uh, the, uh, uh, not everybody, but most of you know that the greatest loss in efficiency is an engine in the engine is um, the loss of heat. So with this, we are uh, all the all the uh, engineers are struggling. So heat is um, ener the energy released by the fuel in the combustion chamber and the uh, air mixture um, as it burns producing a heat spike there in the combustion chamber which creates expansion uh, that drives the piston down. Yeah, it's, a little, it's a little bit uh, more into the mechanic but um, just, I'm just explaining you uh, the technical stuff how it works. So that means um, a higher combustion temperature by using this product, a greater expansion to the piston and uh, this is translated into the more power to the engine. So the second positive effect of, the, of the, this, this uh, layer, of this film, is the um, provi providing of a surface to more evenly distribute the fuel. So in the production, in the combustion chamber, the fuel will be more, uh, will be better distributed. Distributed, yeah. So um, a polished surface tends to cause uh, beading as a polished paint job. So the microfilm attracts attracts the, the liquid the liquid fuel and it make it it makes more um, to be distributed more even in the combustion chamber and also the burning it's uh, much better. Uh, the third effect is uh, like I also told you the uh, better burn. So the, the fuel acts like um, catalyst pre precursor to react with the catalyst component in the booster. With the temperature in the cylinder and the presence of the catalyst, a catalytic reaction occurs to promote uh, better dissociation of chemicals and uh, also better burn, better burn. Because I told you this is the secret. Uh, the, the, um, the burning, it's, um, it is be being made more efficient in the combustion chamber. So the combination of all the above that I told you produces uh, about 10 to 15 percent more expansion in the cylinder with an equal amount of fuel. So this is the, the uh, fuel management improvement, improvement what I was uh, talking about. Also another thing, uh, I don't know if you are aware, but uh, the changes in the um, automotive industry in the last 15 years have um, increased fuel efficiency, of course, and um, mandated rules to lower the emissions. Therefore, uh, the um, fuel manufacturers have removed the lead and added oxygenase to the fuel. To the fuel. So they, they removed the lead and uh, added these oxygenates that are not uh, always um, very benefic, beneficial. So these uh, changes have caused uh, modern vehicles uh, to build harmful uh, deposits and suit that tend to, um, to soak up the fuel and cause performance problems. The booster that I'm talking about contains uh, also a very small amount of um, a very expensive and best quality of two-stroke engine oil. So allowing the lubrification from above in the fire deck. So the lubrification that comes from uh, the fuel, which is missing in our actual diesel fuel due to environmental measures that uh, make fuel very dry in comparison with the fuel that we once had. So now we do, through the fuel, the lubrification doesn't take place anymore in the combustion chamber. We have only the lubrification from, from down, from the oil, but the lubrification from the, from the fuel, uh, due to the fact that there is no lead and added oxygenates into the fuel, we, nowadays we don't have that anymore. And some, some engines, uh, they go broken and they, they, they are being damaged because of this lacking of lubrification from above. So, um, also an, an added benefit of the booster it is the lower emissions. So the, the catalytic process found in the catalytic converters or exhaust systems is started already in the firing cylinder, which reduces the formation of the nutrious oxides and the work required by the converter, it is reduced and life of the converter or the catalyst is uh, um, like this uh, extended. So you have lower emissions 
Of course, the catalyst doesn't have that much um, uh, work to do, and the catalyst will be protected and uh, his, his life will be um, longer, let's say like this. So, this stuff is making the ignition better, the explosion in the combustion chamber a little bit greater, and uh, it hits the piston a little bit stronger. It means that with this product, with the same amount of money, you're making more kilometers because the engine is a little bit stronger. If you translate that, uh, you make a fuel economy. So it also needs uh, three to four uh, tanks, full tanks, to use it until this film, this layer, it is formed on the walls of the combustion chamber and until all the soot it, it is being taken out. You can compare um, here by using this product, um, you are putting the uh, normal diesel into your car, you add this product and then you have automatically a premium diesel into your car. So you can tank um, the normal diesel, um, no, you can, take, you can tank premium diesel with the price of a normal diesel by using this. And uh, maybe intentionally or by mistake you just uh, put definitely in your car some premium diesel, premium gas, and you saw how the engine uh, is, uh, um, uh, performs better. So when, when an engine performs better, that means that the, that engine uh, is working uh, very well and you will have a, a fuel economy definitely. So um, the, the consumption reduction, reduction will also be seen uh, on, the, on the onboard computer on your car. So the, the um, cars nowadays, they all have a computer on board and you can see the, the consumption, uh, the, 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 the mileage, um, each time so this you will see also the fuel reduction the fuel economy you will see it on your um, board computer when you use this this product of course you can also uh, um, make uh, your uh, self uh, calculations and uh, to calculate when you put the diesel you go and then you see how many, many kilometers you did and you put diesel again and you uh, make the calculation and you can see how much is your consumption, how much is your fuel uh, consumption. But also the board computer will also show you uh, this, this uh, decrease of fuel consumption. <coughs> so I recommend this product because I've, like I told you, I've tested it in uh, more than 15 years and um, I did a lot of uh, tests. Um, especially at the beginning, I was uh, making a, um, a self test for going um, driving the car five full tanks with uh, on the same route chosen with the same weight and with the same speed because I wanted to convince myself that it really works before I recommend it to someone else. And um, I saw the, the fuel consumption uh, really how, how, how it works. Um, this is an original product from the USA. This is in a liquid form, like you can see. Uh, the original stuff uh, is in, in uh, compressed uh, powder uh, capsules. So, um, in this form, in the liquid form, that you can find it by me, uh, it is um, better because uh, you can uh, make an excellent dosage, dosage and uh, storage. So you can use it how much you want. If you want some, if you, you, you're buying some capsules, they are fixed, you cannot uh, split them um, as, you, as you need. With this one, you have here the scales, and you can put as much as you want, depending on how much uh, diesel you put into your tank. The price of this, um, this uh, stuff is uh, slightly lower than the USA, uh, given the transportation that you have to pay and the customs uh, duties that you have to pay. And I had also the opportunity to, through an acquaintance of mine, to buy very large um, quantities of this product. And uh, I received a serious uh, discount, so that's why I can go lower uh, uh, in comparison with the price from, from the USA. And also, like I told you, this one um, is in liquid form. You can dosage better, you can make the, the, dosage, the, the dosage better and uh, the transport is better and also you have this lubricity of uh, two-stroke uh, oils inside that is very very important 
So the price in the test phase it is free of charge, so I can send it to you all over the world for and I send you to you to, to use it for five tanks, five full tanks to see if it works for you or not. And then if you're satisfied, you can call me and I will send it to you and then, then it will cost you three euros for 100 liter uh, for 100 liter of fuels. So three euros for 100 liter of fuel. doesn't matter diesel, um, uh, benzene or the gas or um, ethanol. So, but um, beginning with, um, it is very important for your calculation to see um, how how much money you can make with it or how much it costs you uh, it's, it's important to know that beginning with the fuel economy of uh, minimum three percent you have already made the money you paid for the product and this product it is free so beginning with the uh, um, fuel economy of minimum three percent everything that is more and above three percent fuel economy it is your profit and profit and you can put it into your pocket so it doesn't matter how you see it this product not only that it is for free yeah, in the in the worst case scenario of a fuel economy of minimum three percent but it makes money each time you use it in best case scenario where you have a fuel economy of more than three percent the producer anyway gives uh, by the way a minimum of seven percent fuel economy and uh, by using this product and I can say from my experience that it is around 10% average. Of course I have some um, um, guys who were having 15% or they were having almost 20% fuel, uh, fuel consumption uh, reduction but average I might say and I have to confess it is around 10% uh, the fuel consumption. So for the truck drivers because I'm talking to a lot of uh, truck drivers in, uh, in this channel uh, I got some feedback from some um, users that are using this uh, this stuff and they gave me some, some hints. So it's really interesting. Um, this it will increase slightly your maximum speed. Yeah, okay, we know 90 kilometers, we have a speed limit by the trucks. But um, this one uh, gives you extra kilometers uh, through, through the power uh, increase of the engine. So we will have... Um, uh, uh, the opportunity so you can overpass the other truck a little faster and easier so this is very important uh, in your truck truck life you know it uh, very well um, also if you have a fridge in the trailer so if you have to your, your transporting stuff that needs to be cooled down and you want to sleep in the night and it disturbs the noise of the engine of the fridge uh, with uh, with this product, the noise is reduced by the noise of the engine. It is reduced by half, by half, and you can sleep much better. Uh, I got a feedback from one truck driver who was using the first time this one, and in the night he jumped. He woke up. He jumped uh, out of the bed. He went out because he uh, thought that the engine of the fridge uh, went off, but in fact the engine was still running. But it was uh, the noise, it was uh, lower, so it was more silent. So this is uh, another effect uh, of what it has. And also um, you will see when uh, a slope will come that the gear shift does not change into a lower speed as you are used to. And it will drive further with the same gear speed until finally it will change when the slope will be harder, you know. This, this means that uh, the engine performs much better and then the, then the torque increases. Yeah? So like I told you, the product is free of charge in the testing phase, also the transportation uh, worldwide, so there's no problem. Why I do that? Because um, yeah, I want to in increase the confidence of the potential user in this product, because there are many products, like I told you, on the market that promise a lot and don't do anything. And people lost the confidence uh, that, that, that there might be a product that uh, really works, and it's uh, good for the engine and this one it is really very good for the engine so that's why I'm giving it for free to gain trust um, and if you are testing it and if you're uh, okay with it you can call me and you can order it if you're not satisfied with it then it's my loss so anyway I want to say that I'm not trying to damage anyone's engine 
Uh, I'm a serious and honest man. I'm not a, a bastard who wants to play with people and damage their engines. No way. I don't have that, those, those thoughts. And also I'm not a, uh, some kind of fanatical environmentalist who likes electric uh, engines and hates those with uh, internal combustion, combustion engines. And I want to damage the engines uh, that are using uh, internal combustion. No. I'm also, I also don't hate truckers um, and I don't want to damage their engines. In fact, uh, on the contrary, I have in my head in my family drivers and I respect and I know the branch uh, relatively well. And I know how, how they are treated by the society and uh, that they deserve better treatment. Like this, I want to help them somehow in, uh, in their job. Uh, and I say uh, chapeau to all of them for what they do these uh, days with uh, this uh, corona crazy, crazy pandemic. Yeah. So, um, this, um, I have it in three, uh, three bottles. So you have it in, I have it like this. So this is 250 milliliters, this is 500 milliliters, and this is 1000 milliliters. So the two, 250 milliliters of booster, treats uh, 625 liters of uh, um, fuel. The 500 milliliter booster treats um, 1, uh, 1,250 liters of fuel. And the one liter um, or 1,000 milliliter booster treats 2,500 liters of fuel. Doesn't matter, like I told you, uh, gas, gasoline, diesel, uh, ethanol or, or even gas. I saw some guys who were uh, putting uh, this stuff into the um, into the um, uh, into the gas tank of, of the car. They have an adapter and they put it somehow. So there is also a possibility to use in the gas. So so thank you. Uh, please uh, forward this video if you liked it and if uh, please comment below uh, and put questions or criticize if you don't agree with what I just said. I'm trying to start here a conversation. Um, as long as we use uh, normal words and respect each other, I'm more than glad to engage myself into a, to a dialogue regarding this product. So if drive, drive well, stay healthy, and uh, don't believe uh, that Corona is so bad like they tell you on TV, because it is really, really not. So have a nice day you all, and uh, yeah, take care. Bye-bye.